Hey. Of the uh, terminal, again, uh, better crimp, better terminal, better seals, better wire. It ha has the uh, high temp rating. Um, so what you'll do, every connector, you're gonna have uh, either the catch built into the connector, which these it is, so it's gonna be the, the plastic and it's gonna have three catches because it's a three pin connector. And the plastic is actually gonna be, kind of have a little bit of spring to it. And the pin is gonna either catch in the hole in the top right there or just at the end of the connector, I mean of the terminal, sorry. So you always gonna kind of wonder which way until you learn it. Uh, when they have little guides like this one does, and it might be kind of hard to see, but there's a little feet there that stick up. And you'll know, so I'm gonna try to put it in wrong. I happen to, of course, know which way these go in. So we'll do it the wrong way. And right there, you feel tension and it won't go in. It helps if I turn it the right way when I'm doing that. So doing this upside down here, sorry. So we'll slide in right there. And just give a little tug once you put them in, make sure that it uh, is locked in there. Again, slide in, you'll feel it click. And those feet, are going into a groove usually typically in the connector and uh, so that's what kind of stops it from going in the wrong way uh, very rarely will you be able to put the uh, pin upside down as long as you have the right pin for that connector uh, you're going to be good it, it, it's not going to go in the wrong way and again you would know because it's going to be really tight when you're trying to put that in there so let me show you again just one more time i'm going to try to do this right since i'm upside down here slide that in you feel that click here we'll do it the wrong way so and then I just feel tension right there, it stopped. So I noticed not try to force that, right? You should never have to force it in there. So that one stops, we'll take it out, flip it around, and it clicks into place. Again, give it that little pull. Uh, some connectors actually, you do need to pull back on it a little bit to get the uh, plastic catch that is internal in there. It'll get the plastic catch trying to seat into the pin. Uh, so you kind of pull it back, and uh, now we'll be ready to uh, put the uh, front of it on. So this connector does have the uh, front lock. So this is a secondary lock. Um, and what this does is it actually puts tension up on the uh, plastic catch that's built into the connector. So that's just a little bit more security to make sure that the pins don't come out. Not all connectors have that, uh, but it's definitely nice when they do. If it doesn't have it, then it's probably gonna be a little bit different system. Uh, you don't have to worry. They're not just gonna kind of fall out if you don't have that lock, uh, but definitely a nice, nice addition. So this one we'll put in, it's got the little steps and that's actually going to push up into the uh the catch there so we'll slide it in i'm doing this backwards here excuse me and then we'll just push it down and you might not be able to hear it but it gave it a little click so we'll do this one again so take our front piece kind of figure out and actually let me show you here these can be a little hard sometimes to know which way it goes on there. This one, of course, if you try to do it wrong, you would know pretty much immediately it's not going on. These will slide right down into the groove cut in the bottom there. Make sure I'm getting that there and give that a snap and then it's in there. So again, uh, if the pin wasn't all the way installed, uh, this would probably kind of have a little bit more tension on it. But since again, I put these in, kind of gave them that pull backwards a little bit to make sure that the catches were all uh, locked in. Hey, I'm Eric with Find Pigtails, and today we want to show you how to find your pigtail the quickest way in 20 seconds or less. Now, this is going to work for you if you're in the field, if you're in a rush, or if you simply just want to get things done quick. It's going to be our instant photo matching technology, and you can find that on our website. So watch this. I'm on the home page. Notice on the left-hand side, you have three main feature options on how you can search for the pigtail. Today, we're going to go to upload an image. So click upload an image. You can do two things. You can either upload an image by clicking on it, and then selecting the actual photo of the pigtail you want to match or you can simply click and drag the photo of the pigtail you have for an instant match now watch this I'll do it very quickly I'm gonna grab a photo of our top selling connector so I'm dragging it from one monitor to another I'll move it over here so you can so you can kind of see how I'm doing it alright here's my photo I'm dragging it from one screen 
and I'm gonna just gonna and I'm just gonna drag it into this box right here and let go. And there you have it, instant match for Z27 C2. It's gonna be your first option right here. You can look at the photo, cross reference it to make sure that's the right one. Let me open my photo back up. There's my photo. Yup, that's the right connector.